In this Power Mill Quick Tip video, I'm going to be taking a look at how we can quickly reverse surface normals on an imported model, such as the one that's in my screen here. You can see that this model has multiple surfaces that don't have the same coloration. Well, this isn't actually coloration. This is the direction that the surface is facing. Now, the reason why we would want to reverse these surfaces is that when we're creating toolpaths and boundaries and other things within Power Mill, Power Mill is looking at that surface direction and quite often what will happen is the toolpath will want to avoid these areas along with maybe the boundaries that we want to create. We'll try to avoid these areas because it will see them as disjoint surfaces because they're not facing the same direction. That being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a trick because I can simply come up here into my model tab and select one of these surfaces and hit the reverse button. I could also go through and select all of these individually. However, there is a faster way to do this. What I can do instead is I can position my model so that I can see the majority of the surfaces that need to have their normals switched. That way they're all within my view angle and I can see them all. I can right click on the model and within my selection tools, in the flyout of the selection tools, you'll see I have this select visible reversed components. Well, that's going to scan the model in my view, and then it's going to select all those components that it can see. And that quickly selected everything. Now, you see it missed this surface here on this side. That's because that surface is not within that view. I'm going to go ahead and select that one as well. And now I can quickly come in and change all of those surfaces in one shot.